hey fancy beauties and bows welcome back to the channel so today we are doing girl what are we doing today <laughs> we are doing um we are gonna do this unit today Ooh. can't wait to show her to y'all don't touch nothing all right y'all so let's go ahead and take a look at this baby right here uh Altre is the diva we are doing today she is in color dr red wine so and i have been dying to get my hands on her yeah 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 all right so Let's just keep it moving. Keep it moving, please. Alright. So she comes crimped. Do you see her? Do you see her? Okay. Now y'all know I scored on this one too. She was uh, I think she was the last one in this color. Is that what they put? I'll put it on the side somewhere anyway just right off she's really really soft um, mm -hmm. on the inside it's regular schmegler so you got the two combs you got two combs on the, one on each side and then you got oh y'all you got this one in the back okay this this is a little different uh, the the cap itself is a little different it's like it's more breathable for us so that's gonna be really nice to experience that it still has the adjustable straps and let's take a look at this hairline so the hairline is uh, <laughs> kind of sort of um, plucked for us um, it's not bad though it's not a black it's not mm, 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 mm. it's not that bad of a pluck job um, any any pluck is good for me because I don't pluck so there you go I can already tell you I'm gonna have the doctor on this um, I'm gonna have the doctor on this part because that's not what we're doing so let me go off camera and get the lace cut and then get my brows put on so we can look a little better than we do now okay
now that we got hair and all that stuff out of the way we could go ahead and move into the eyebrows I know I told y'all I was gonna do it off camera but as you can see I went ahead and did everything on camera for you um I need now see y'all I set everything out so I wouldn't uh, so I wouldn't be looking for everything so let's see <laughs> if this works um I, I did groom my eyebrows um, today so I plucked them this is the first time I ever plucked my brows and when I tell you it hurt but then after a while it started to feel good <laughs> I don't know what that was about but anyway I think they came out pretty good what you think mm -hmm. all right so let's go ahead and get this done gonna be um pretty dramatic look today so I need the brows to come through too that's why I opt for TikTok method. It never lets me down. This is my bad side. I can't see over here for some reason. like a glare or something. I gotta take that off. So the rest of this I'm gonna have to clean up with my Alright, so we got that done and out of the way. The next thing we are going to do. Ooh, I forgot this, y'all. Ooh. Gotta set it, so. So I can't hide them brows out of place. They on they on their own.
because I decided to do them on camera today. All right, let's move along, okay? Let's move along. So the palettes we gonna work out of today is uh, Juvia's Place, Morphe, and N. We're doing the blue, and glitter will be used today as well. So we're going with this pretty powdery blue glitter. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go in to the Morphe's palette. This is 35B. And I'm going in with that navy blue right there first. And I'm going to take this brush. This is just a Jessup brush. And it's um, real like tapered. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, there you go. That's what she looks like. So I'm just going to swirl my brush inside of that navy blue. And then we go on in. This is what we're kind of going for with the shape. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to take another brush. Nothing on this one. And this is a Morphe brush. I'm um, not sure which, but it's just a nice little fluffy brush to help me blend this out. Now, when, when we're making these videos, I know it looks like, oh dang, they ain't take no time to blend. No, sis, you gotta blend. You gotta blend. We just we cut some of that out. We cut a lot of it out. But sometimes you can blend quick, depending on um, how you how your technique is. So I'm not going to have to do a lot of blending uh, with this one, but I still am because I want those, uh, see how that is, that I don't want it harsh. So I just want to soften that up as much as I can. And I didn't put any product on this brush purposely because blue and black, you have to be careful because it will muddy on you and um, mess up your whole look. So you got to be careful. Speaking of which, I'm going to go in. That is so work. I'm going to go in with a natural uh, tone, uh, flesh tone color, and just go right up over this area because this will help brighten it and this will also help blend and make it look a lot cleaner and not so muddy. 
So if you ever do muddy it up, that's all you got to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut this crease. I'm going to use Peeloise to do so. So I'm going to take some, put it on the back of my hand, like so. Find me a nice little sharp. Brush. Guys, when you cut uh, your crease, you could do it different ways. So you could do it in this shape, or you could do it uh, where you take it all the way in this, in the, in that shape of that V on the outside. So it just all depends on what kind of look you're going for when you go to cut that crease. But it's super easy. It's just like you erasing and then you're going to put back the color you want. Or you go back in with the same color that's um, in your crease. Depends on you. Get that other side, and I'm just um, pouncing this in here. You can build up to it, or you could just go in.
All right, that's perfect. All right, so now what I'm, now what I'm now what I'm gonna do is just go in with that blue and deepen that back up some. That one's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to work on, I think I'm going to go from out to in. Yeah, so the next uh, color I'm going to go with is going to be this pretty one right here. Alright, so I need another... Okay, now the rest of this is going to be uh, that baby blue, but I'm going to put the baby blue um, base down there. Not really a base, but it's eyeshadow. So I'm going to go with this one right here. So I think she's really pretty. And I'm going to flip that same brush I just used. I'm going to flip it over and just use it. I'm not sure what one this brush is. Uh, I've had it for a while. Dang, this is almost coming out the same color. Mess up my luck. Just had to get another brush because I don't want I don't want it light. Mm -hmm. It's not giving me light. It's not giving me light, y'all. Dang on it. Let me see what happens over here.
Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do, cause it's just that's that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go in that navy blue in the um, end palette and just try to fix this up. Okay, so now I need all right, so I got kind of got that fixed up a little bit, guys. Um totally different than what I had in my head, but we are here now, so we gotta keep going. Um I wanted that to be light, light. Let's see. I'm trying to. I'm going in with that.
But I'm doing um, 3D. I got to hold it because <laughs> they're going to fall out. But these are the ones I'm going with. All right. So here we are. I told you it was going to all come together. <laughs> <laughs> so um what are we doing uh we need to do um, we need to do some blush we need to do some blush so i think i try that one this is that uh t rose from Milani. I gotta do my uh, other contour because I did the cream contour already, so I gotta do the. Another contour. My ebony bronze. Y'all know that's my staple, honey. She ain't going nowhere till it's all gone. Four head, really that five head. And while I'm doing this, y'all, I do like this wig. It feels real comfortable on. It's not crazy baby hairs. Um, it looks pretty natural uh, for the most part, you know. Um, we're gonna have to open up that part. You already know we gotta open that part up, but I mean really soft It's bouncy The crimps are really pretty. I'm not gonna comb those out Through or none of that. I'm leaving them just the way they are Um. So yeah, I would definitely Get her again. My daughter has her in the blonde and it's that trio blonde that you know I love. But I saw this one. I was like, oh, I ain't getting a wig this color. Let me have it. So I got that. And uh, yeah, I like them. So we just get ready to put some highlight on here. Nothing special. And this is... Uh, yeah, I like the gold better. Who is this? Oh, this is Wet and Wild. The trio. I'll never be able to use all that. And 
What else do we need to do? Let's do, um, I need my other powder. Let me throw that one away. All right, let's do this um, Fit Me. I haven't used this in a while. So, I need a... Um, Get this lippy done. And we're doing neutral. Neutral, neutral. All right, that was NYX Lip Sensational something like or another. Feeling like I want a blood, uh, um, lip gloss. Okay, good. It showed up. got that and then I need a um, tear duct area and I think let's go with I'll do that Milani the highlighter I use and I'm just using this um, pencil There you go. All right, now I uh, just need to need to spray this face. I don't know why, cause I ain't going nowhere. But <sighs> oh, that feels so good, and it smells good. <laughs> This is the uh, Morphe setting, continuous setting mist. 
So. Mm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, y'all. So this is it. Okay. I hope you like it. I I'm sad that it didn't come out with the um, baby blue. I'm going to try that look one more time. Probably um, I'll put that on first before I work the outer. So I think that's probably where I made my mistake. But nevertheless, I still came through for a look for you. Alright, so let's go on over here to modelization. Y'all already know what time it is, okay? So come on, girl. Can I dance for you? Would that be cool? Can I dance for you? Butterflies in my stomach, butterflies in my chest, hot 